My name is Melissa, and 23 years ago, I was a single mom and pregnant again. As a Christian, I wrestled with the Lord and went straight to the scriptures. After three or four hours of rifling through them, I came to two conclusions. This child had to have life, and I did not have to raise the child. And that is how I ended up at Bethany Christian Services, where I began the search for adoptive parents. I had two criteria. They had to be true, Bible-believing, loving Christians, and they had to have already adopted a child. I wanted this child to have an older sibling. Eight months later, I found the family. Then came the time for me to give birth, two weeks early. I had a son. The parents came and stayed the night with him and drove me home the next morning. The last words the adoptive father said to me were this, this separation is temporary, but the reunion will be eternal. I held on to this and prayed that I'd meet my son in heaven one day. Hi, my name is Caleb Swiatek. 22 years ago, I was adopted by Pastor Matt and Jane. Ever since I was young, I knew I was adopted. My parents never hid this from me and always told me that when I turned 18, they would help me find my birth mom. Throughout my life, people have asked me what I thought about being adopted, and it was never put in a negative context. I always knew that my birth mom loved me and did what she thought was best for my life. I have always been thankful that she chose life. I never knew if abortion had been on her mind, but I knew that my life was important to her. When I turned 18, my mom gave me a file folder of letters and adoption records. It wasn't until six months later that I dove into the records and I was overwhelmed with the sense that God was in the details. When I was 21, I decided to make contact with my birth mom. Three months ago, I opened my email and read, Hello, Melissa, my name is Caleb, and I am your son. After several emails, we set a time and a place to meet. As I was walking into the cafe, I saw my birth mom, and I knew it was her. I walked into the cafe, and I saw a young man at the counter, and I knew it was my son. Both of us are here today, thankful that we serve the same God, who has bigger plans for our lives than we could ever imagine. Thank you for choosing life.